Hi, I'm Gary Seifer. This is a short film about my life. I have something called nystagmus, which causes my my eyeballs to bounce around. In fact, if you, if you look at my eyes, you can see them sort of being around. And to me, it appears everything appears to be vibrating. <laughs> Trust me, it's just doing it. How long will it take to get there? You see that light down there? Just as Marcus' eyes find it, the light disappears. It's hard to read text. It's like, yeah, I can see the words, but they're bouncing around, so I can't read the. I can pick out one word at a time. That's about it. I play the note on my recorder, and then Diane is working on the script, and she'll work on whatever the note says. My name is Diane Maddox, and I am helping Gary by just typing in the scripts for him. I had over 20 years in the, the motion picture business. When I was a, a, a teacher, then I became an assistant principal, and my job was working with uh, special education children. Gary, <laughs> he's a funny guy. You know, I never come in and think that he doesn't see me, because that's why I even will sometimes comb my hair. Uh, <laughs> Being at home during COVID-19 hasn't been so hard for me. In fact, I'm getting a lot of writing done. I take my mask off when I'm at home. I've written two screenplays. Always Play Some Blues, The Come of Age, 1967, The Summer of Love, An Interracial Romance, and uh, The First Black Student in an All-White School. I'm also writing a script about uh, time travel in the near future called A Much Better Time. It's about a woman in, in the year 2050 who, uh, to a new version of time travel, wants to travel back to 1939, where she becomes a, a film legend. It ends up in the wrong century. My screenplay is safe at home. Why don't I submit it to the seventh annual Neo Noir Festival, and I won an award. My shirt says that I have the next big thing in Hollywood, and that's what I'm throwing these scripts around for. Um, throughout my life, I've always been an active person, rock climber, an iron worker, not so much anymore. I've been diagnosed with secondary progressive MS. That's different than other kinds of MS in that it doesn't get better and worse and so on. It just gets worse and worse and worse. It's important for me, even though I can't walk, it's important for me to get my body moving. And that helps my digestive system and other things. So that's, that's why it's important for me to go to the gym. At Los Angeles Valley College, I use a stationary bike to help move my, keep my legs moving. I used to go to the Valley College swimming pool, an excellent swimming pool. They had a, a device where if I was lifted onto it, it could lower me down to the pool. Uh, now the gym is closed uh, because of the, the coronavirus, and we don't know when it's going to open, neither do they. I miss going to the gym. I miss seeing my friends through this difficult time. Oh, I met Chris once. I, was, uh, I met him because I'm working at the gym, and I was on my bicycle home. And we struck up a conversation, and we had a lot of things in common, and we both love movies. And I told him, I said, I'm looking for a, someone to rent the back of my house. And he said, maybe he would. And now I live here, and I get to see him all the time. But I know that it's important that he gets to use the bicycle, and without it, it's really been a detriment for him. And we need to get back there as soon as possible. After I mess with the garbage cans, I always wash my hands and use a hand sanitizer. Double Indemnity, one of my favorite movies, starring Brendan Curry, Barbara Sandrick, and uh, Edward T. Robinson, written, by, written and directed by Billy Wilder. It's a film noir classic. It shouldn't be missed. So that's after four. And then Hawkshot Hollywood Cruise was supposed to call me. I guess I better call him.